Hello there my good friends of YouTube. I've got a, quite a pretty cool one to show you today actually. I'm actually uh, quite surprised with this one. Um, well what it is, I've I've uh, I've got this big long Pyrex tube just here which uh, my friend John High Voltage Projects gave to me when I went up to uh, visit him. And um, what I've got here is two electrodes. Um, what I've done, let's see if I can get the old light on for you. See what I've done? I've made. Oh, you bugger! I forgot it was on. <laughs> For what I've got here, um, didn't really hurt actually that much. It just more of shock. Um, surprised me. What I've got, I've got this switched on at the minute. This, I mean, actually, I'll turn that on off actually, just to uh, be on the safe side. And um, what I've got, okay, is this Pyrex tube with um, a contact going through one side. I basically heated up a rod, pushed it in, and sealed it with some um, silicone. And on there is a aluminium valve, uh, aluminium wheel valve for a car, and I've um, put that valve just on the end of there, and then s sealed it even more with some silicon. I mean, it was quite a good seal because it got a rubber um, grommet on the other side. So when I've screwed it up, tightened it, it's basically gave it a good seal. And on the other side, I've got another electrode which should be over there, which has bent itself over. Let's see if I can get that to, uh, to stay to stay level. It's quite annoying that is actually. Uh, so yeah, so what I've done when I when you put power to this and put the vacuum on it, I'm only putting ten thousand volts for it, so nothing which is going to cause any X-rays. Um, in case my friend Paul's watching and thinking he's going to bloody end up causing himself some harm with all these X-rays. I've just had deja vu. Um, so I just want to get that electrode to stay still. Come on, you bugger. Oh, that'll have to do. Oh, that's it. Perfect. So, <clears throat> here's a vacuum. Okay. Here's an NST, 10,000 volts, about 50 milliamps. And a vacuum tube. Oh, I just wanted to show you as well. I've put a shelf up. Now, isn't that better? Isn't that a lot better? I've got more room. Let me come back and show you. So if I turn the light off, okay, got a load of LEDs underneath. A couple of LEDs have died. I've had them quite a while. It's an LED strip, 12 volt LED strip. But I've got more room now. I've got stuff all over the top, all over the top of there, as you can see. Nice shelf, and uh, just gives me more room and makes it a bit more tidier. So. Right, let's get on with it and I'll show you guys. This is awesome. It really is guys, honestly it's brilliant. Let's turn these lights, let's turn this light off. Right, I'll turn this one until we get the vacuum on there. So on with the voltage. On with the vacuum. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that cool? how warm it is. I mean with it being Pyrex apparently it can take quite a lot of voltage, uh, quite a lot of voltage, quite a lot of heat with it being Pyrex. Oh god I'm shocking everything now. That is awesome. So, I thought I'd share that with you guys. And John, if you're watching, mate, you've got to try it. Because that is absolutely cool. It looks really great as well. I mean, the, with it being Pyrex, um, you know, you can withstand quite a lot of heat. 
But, uh, I mean, it's not even, it's, it's warm, but it's not hot, not dangerously hot. So, give it a go, give it a go, guys, because it's, uh, it's quite satisfying to see that lovely arc going across it, because, I mean, with the vacuum, you see, the ions are, um, are able to uh, travel up it, travel up the, uh, the length of the tube and have contact. I mean, that's fantastic, though, that is, the way that lights up. So thanks for watching guys, look after yourselves, be safe, don't shock yourself just like I did. <laughs> Take care, speak again.